So like you guys can see, and even using this intro, for example, subtitles are one of the most crucial and impactful components of a piece of content. No matter what platform it's on or what the content's about, subtitles make the understanding of the video 10 times easier for someone watching your video. So with that being said, you need subtitles in literally every single piece of content you make. But there might be one problem. You don't know how to do that. Well, no problem, because in this video, I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way you could add subtitles to any of your videos in a matter of five minutes. So like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys do enjoy and learn something let's get right into the video all right so the first step of the subtitling process is actually navigate on over to uh, the davinci resolve download page if you don't have it installed already i have it linked down below in the description if you want to go check that out but that's basically how you can install that and uh yeah i'll just see you once i boot up davinci resolve now starting off we're just going to go into a new project and name this subtitle go to the edit tab here at the bottom go to file project settings change our timeline frame rate to 60 and depending on if you are making short form content you will take this vertical resolution box if you're not you'll just leave it at 1920 by 1080 because that is the default resolution and you're just going to press save okay so quickly before the tutorial starts i want to quickly mention my editing packs that i have available right now basically i have two different tiers of editing pack we have my five dollar editing pack which is for beginners that only want to spend five dollars it's super budget friendly and it has literally everything you could ever need for fortnite montages content any other gaming montages etc there's a ton of motion graphics in there subtitle presets fortnite presets i'm gonna leave you guys a link for that but if you guys didn't see i just recently released my 2024 editing pack which is basically that pack but updated i have so much more content related stuff so if you are a youtuber an upcoming content creator you definitely need to check that pack out one's five dollars one's ten dollars if you did buy my previous pack and you enjoyed it i definitely recommend that you take the next step and buy the ten dollar pack it's so worth it but i don't want to go on any longer if you guys want to check out the announcement video where i go over everything in the pack be sure to go check that out that'll be at the top of the description links to both both packs are gonna be at the top of the description as well let's get right into the tutorial now from there we're gonna go to file explorer here and we're actually going to navigate to whatever footage we want to be subtitling so for example i'm just gonna drag in a sample piece of footage from an intro that i did and it's gonna prompt us if and it's gonna ask us if we want to change the frame rate i'm gonna press no and we're just gonna drag it in just like this the first thing i normally do when i'm doing these intros is i normally just trim it down so if you want to do that you can if not it's not the end of the world but basically the main step but basically the first step of subtitling is actually adding your markers and recognizing what words are in what place throughout the clip so to do this what i'll normally do is i'll come through and i'll listen to the clip itself so if you guys don't know what i'm doing i'm actually thinking of where i'm going to be adding these markers to these words so so so, so super big and then right here problem so i'm going to be utilizing markers so markers can be placed by pressing m on our keyboard marker on problem and then this would be that i see it see nowadays is when you have a windows computer and it and an iphone or android so basically what i would do imagine this is my entire intro i'm going to come through and i'm going to add markers to literally every single word or mini sentence because you know we're able to subtitle more than one word if it's you know a long form or a short form um i'll come through i'll add subtitles to all of it and then that brings us to this point which is when we're ready to actually add the subtitles itself so the thing about subtitles is it's great and every video can have its unique style um, in terms of creativity and the way that they look and appearance and theme and all that. So starting off, we'll just go to titles, drag in text, and we're going to have it span the entire duration of our intro or clip or whatever we're subtitling. So start to finish. And then what we're going to do is we're going to edit the text style. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the font. Two of my main fonts that I use are Nanami and also Akira Expanded. Those are two of my favorites by far. Akira expanded kind of has that you know modern looking thing we can see it says right there and then if we go down here to nanami for example that's kind of like if we do it lowercase it's kind of like that content style type of thing if you're doing like gaming videos but for the sake of this video i'm going to be using akira because it's also a lot easier to see and i'm going to be changing the size right here to 75 actually we'll do 80 just to make it easier for you guys to see um, it on the screen now next we're going to go to the settings tab we're going to adjust the height so somewhere around here should be good and we're also going to add a drop shadow so scrolling into zoom on the title just so we can 
kind of see it i'm gonna go here to drop shadow and if you guys want to copy these settings four negative four change your opacity to 100 take your blur down a little bit like 10 those are the exact settings that i use for all of my subtitles and that is basically that so once you've actually added your layer if we were to take our blade tool by clicking on this and cut on every single mini word we can see that no matter where we are on the intro it's still going to have you know the drop shadow and the text style and all that so we won't need to edit that all we need to do at this point all we need to do from this point is actually change each word so a so a super big problem that i see nowadays let me just quickly show you what this looks like that's basically how you do that so you'd come through your entire video and you would add you know these markers you would add a text layer you'd cut it up on the markers obviously indicating because each marker indicates that it's a start of a new sentence or a new word um, and then you change it to correspond to what you're saying right so that just kind of makes sense now let me just quickly explain how you could add animations so i'm going to show you how to an make an animation for your subtitles from scratch um, and then i'll be showing you how how you can adjust them for each one so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come through and you're going to compound clip by right clicking going to compound clip I have a keybind so I just press a button on my keyboard but to compound clip you just right click compound clip create right click compound clip create right click compound clip create and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into this fusion tab of the text itself now pressing control space we're gonna add a transform like this transform XF so it's gonna come in as a transform one and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 10 frames in to the actual subtitle and we're going to keyframe the size at one. I'll go to the very beginning, keyframe it at zero. Same thing here go to the very end keyframe it at zero and then go 10 frames backwards so we can see frame counters at 52 we just need to go to 42 change that and then we also need to change the anchor point to this point right here so then once we have the pivot which is the anchor point set to you know the middle of this layer it's actually going to adjust on that axis if that makes sense compared to before if it was up here it's gonna like kind of move towards the center towards that axis um so you're gonna want it adjusted to the middle of the text um so yeah that's how you do that now coming up here to spline we're just gonna click this box right here and edit this graph really quick just press Control a so it's easier to see and you just kind of want to copy this graph right here so just do you're just gonna want to copy this graph right here so look like that it's gonna give you like that movement that you're looking for you basically want this one to be straight across and this one to be straight up so it just kind of looks like a bing being kind of like a bounce if that makes sense now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this um and then what we're able to do is we're able to go to clips here we can just come to the next layer and we'll paste it add it in and to actually add it in you're going to need to hold shift on your keyboard till it shows up as yellow and blue meaning that you're able to drag it and drop it and we're going to go to keyframes here and we can see that this one's slightly off because obviously each layer of text is going to be a little bit different in terms of duration so we're just going to bring those keyframes over so it's super simple when it comes to that we can see and if we go to the next one paste it in right there we can see the keyframes again need adjusting so we're just going to drag them over now the problem is if it gets a little bit you know too long and they collide then you can manually adjust it so we're going to go like this paste check it out adjust it this paste check it out adjust it this paste check it out make it a bit longer this time paste boom and just like that we're almost done onto the last layer trust me this process is probably the easiest part and now there we go we can see that it has that bounce throughout if that makes sense but that's how i do my subtitles i know a lot of people have them you know come up or swipe up swipe left kind of thing um i'm not a huge fan of that but you know um it is what it is in terms of people's style and how they want to accomplish um their specific edit but uh yeah guys that's gonna do it for the tutorial if you guys did enjoy make sure to like comment subscribe we're so close to 100,000 subscribers so any of you that support me means a lot but if you guys want to check out davinci resolve go check it out using the link at the top of the description i also mentioned my edit packs earlier in this video whether you're a content editor gamer etc go check out my edit packs they're at two different price points so regardless on what your budget is there's going to be an edit pack for you with a ton of presets you know assets everything required to make a great video but yeah i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys later peace out